Today we have some of the most unexplained and creepy videos in the game that you should not be watching alone. Listen man, I love watching these videos. If you do, drop a thumbs up, subscribe and let's check it out. That is impossible. Not too long ago, mobile phones, television and big cities didn't exist the way they do today. And people had more time to watch the sky full of stars and wonder about all those things that might just be hiding up there. You cannot even do that because of light pollution anymore. Damn, what the, what? Portal? Aliens? Uh, 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 lock yourselves in the basement, boys. Really long? They're what here. How much longer it looks like it's coming and out. And it looks like it's getting more. Uh... Oh my God. What Bro, that looks man. like a planet, dog. The thing is, nowadays, the perfect place and time to watch the sky and stars would be camping deep in the woods. Yeah. And one would have to ask themselves, if, to this day, there isn't exactly many videos or photos of people who went camping and accidentally captured something strange in the sky. And well, there because are- Because of our cameras, oh, there are, ow! But it's really hard to capture something in dark, right? Because cameras, they are not that good. There are some, but you need to really know what you're doing and you need to have like good lenses and cameras to be able to do that. Are. And I guess that one of the best videos out there was captured by Homestead Howe YouTube channel. Oh, damn. Now, you Homestead Howe YouTube channel is based in Montello, Wisconsin, which is a very small and quiet town with a population of only 1,500 people. I mean, it's really small. And their YouTube channel is focused on a family of six who left the city to live and grow on 20 acres of land. Okay. And while taking pictures in one fine night, this happened. Check this out. Last night it was too cloudy, I couldn't see the Milky Way, so I tried to get some of these cool shots of the house. I tried to do a time lapse where I set the camera up and I literally, this is 700 pictures of our house. Look, here's a close up. Can you see it on, you can show it on the screen? Kind of not really. I'll show it on the screen. You can see the stars and you can see the clouds and the clouds are moving. And then I combine the 700 pictures together to make it. Homestead Howe explains how he was trying to take pictures of the Milky Way on somewhat a cloudy day. When all of a sudden he captured something he couldn't explain. Oh, damn. And this is what he caught on camera. UFO? I UFO? want, I just want an explanation for what it is. Go up, Marketing. This is the original photo out of my camera. Zoom no, in. go to no, 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 no. Look, does that look like an airplane to you? Damn. A helicopter, a drone. It looks like a red. It's not my drone. It looks like okay, watch. Watch. Here's where it gets scarier. Watch this. Watch. Oh. Look at the light coming off. Homestead Howe was able to take four or five pictures of this unknown and mysterious object. The thing is, when this video was first. They hair, boys. They hair. <laughs> uploaded to they YouTube hear. and amassed millions of views and thousands of comments and there was a very strong debate amongst internet users whether this is a helicopter or an airplane in a long exposure photograph or if this is indeed a mysterious object caught on camera. It doesn't look like a helicopter, but these arguments are good. You know, I, I would like to believe that it's Bruh. a UFO as well, but obviously you, you should not be believing everything and anything, uh, especially on the internet. I do not believe stuff on the internet, but it certainly don't look like a chopper. A helicopter, it doesn't look like that. It looks like a circular object with the light coming uh, uh, out of it, with some RGB lights on around as well, right? Camera. Yeah, red, green lights. Uh... I myself at first thought it could be a helicopter or an airplane. This is until I saw the rest of the video where he zooms in the object and it becomes quite clear that this might actually be something entirely different. Mm. Check this out. The first one I think was the, this one has all the red on it. You know, the only thing I'm scared of now because all the stories that I've seen of like aliens coming into people's bed and they can't move, like sleep. Oh, damn. What? what? I'm terrified. I'm Okay, here we go. We're cropping into the. This is the clearest one. There, that's a helicopter. Is that a helicopter? <laughs> Whatever it is. <laughs> that's a helicopter to you, bro. That's a helicopter. That ain't a helicopter, man. The Homestead Howe captured on camera. It does not look like a helicopter or an airplane at all. Damn. And even if this were to be a long exposure picture, I don't know if a helicopter would actually look like this. But yeah. I'm not too sure. I want to know your thoughts. What do you really think Homestead Howe captured on camera? They are here. They are here. They have been here for a long time. <laughs> they are here, but are they good? Are they bad? I mean, that's uh, 
I don't know, man. That I guess nobody knows, right? Uh, nobody knows. Could it just be a helicopter or an airplane in a long exposure photograph? Or could it be something else entirely? What's your take? Uh, honestly, on a realistic note, though, it can be something that's experimental by the government it can surely be that's highly classified but if it's highly classified are they really going to be flying around like that in the open yeah this is a town of 1500 people there are not many people yeah not many people got cameras that good but apparently this guy did right how would they know so that's why they're like flying around in areas where there are less people that's another argument that i can come out with but you know what i mean it's like i'm not buying it it's just but that's another argument for sure can be can be right cannot be i want to know your thoughts as well in today's world living an urban life can be very much stressful and to get away from this stress sometimes people choose different kinds of activities during the weekend one mm -hmm. of them being camping just so most of you probably stay at home right like bruh i just stay at home on weekends, have an bro. idea 50 million people choose to go camping every year just in the u.s alone that's a lot of people i never have been camping and one i of my guess friends, that most people one of my in real life friend did uh, i'm in montreal so he went to quebec i believe uh like north uh, north actually not even in just quebec city he went like north in quebec the province and he spent a night there and he said that it it was beautiful like he saw the stars uh, and especially there was like a river around and he saw the reflection of the milky way the stars and it was looking good he was he said that he's never seen something like that and i never seen it uh he was just describing it to me and i was like yeah maybe it's probably and it's probably because here in the city you can you can never experience something like that because of light pollution or actual pollution light pollution and it's uh the clouds as well but there when there are no clouds it's empty there's no lights on top and the pollution is quite low so it's it's good to we'll go uh, camping because you want to get away from this stressful life in search for a peaceful and quiet moment but sometimes things aren't that peaceful and quiet Ow! in the middle of the woods. That was a screaming. Like a woman or something. That was a that was a female screaming. Sometimes strange and mysterious things occur and very rarely they are captured on camera. Dang. This is sort of what happened with Caden and a couple of friends when they decided to go camping in Arizona. Now Caden has about 127,000 followers. And his videos are mainly focused on daily vlog type videos. None of them are actually focused. Uh, can, I, can a brother get two followers now? Sir? On strange or mysterious things. However, in this specific video, Caden went camping with a couple of friends and found himself face to face with a very strange situation. From what uh, I understand, they had just it's going down man i i love videos like that man i don't know why like do you guys feel thirsty for videos like that i'm feeling thirsty for videos like that and definitely if you're new here subscribe subscribe to that is impossible as well make some of the bangers videos banger videos man. Banger set up videos. camp when they started hearing a strange noise and this is what they caught on camera that was a screaming Joe, listen. like a woman or something that was a that was a female screaming Okay, lower the volume or do not look behind you, first of all. Please, please, please. No, 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 no. no. Mm -mm. It's time to run. Oh my god, Phil. After posting part one of this video, it amassed millions of views and thousands of comments, and most internet users were divided. While some believe that this could be a mountain lion, which is sort of a common thing when you're out in the woods. Yo, I thought if she said that it's a bumbocat. No, if she said, uh, Riley said bobcat. So bobcat on heat. I had one doing that around my house one night. If you're playing in the outdoors, learn the outdoors. Okay. Some believe that this could actually be a skinwalker type of creature or something like that. This Bruh. is until he posted a part two of his camping experience and things started to get stranger and stranger. And this is what happens next. Yo, I want to run to get my SMG, but I, I cannot do that, bro. Oh, that sounds like some scary movie. The cameraman never dies, though. Remember that. Oh, that hand on the shoulder comforting him. Damn, son.
Dude, that sounds like some hard dude. What happened to the other steel target? Yeah, it looks like a haunted ass movie too. After approaching the area where they believe the mysterious screams are coming from, they start noticing strange things all around them. They also notice a couple of bottles here and there. This is when something even creepier happens and they caught it all on camera. Oh snap. Right there on the ground. On the ground. Right. On the ground? Is what? That. Yeah. What the f is that? What? Is that that? No. No. Please tell me that is what the hell? Made like a pr oh. oh! No, 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 no! Run! Did you Run. get to see it? Well, neither did I, nor Caden and his friends. Okay, wait for it, wait for it. Okay, listen. I was looking at this, uh, this thing that, that has, that's, ha that, it looks like a pencil, right? <laughs> looks like a pencil with the human shape. That's the thing I was looking at. It was actually one of his subscribers who pointed out something strange. If we brighten up the video, we can actually see what appears to be some sort of humanoid figure lurking from behind one of the trees. Oh, it appears that they were not all alone after all. Now some internet users left comments saying that it could be a barn owl, while others state that this could actually be a cryptid or an unknown creature of some sort, mostly because of the way it moves. Now I'm not pretty- Damn! It might, it might, it might be a shivaba too, know what I'm saying? Like... sure what's going on here, but I know that if we take everything in this video into consideration, it all points out that there's something far more sinister going on, and I'm not sure why or what. In your opinion, do you think that this video could be a prank of some sort, or is it the real deal? Uh, and that's the thing, right? It's always hard to say in situations like that. It can be a prank, it could be them just trying to do it for the TikToks, TikTok views, it could be that, but it, it felt like it's genuine to me. It feels like it's genuine, but it can be doctored, it can be a troll, it can be a prank, for sure, for sure. Nobody knows. Now, I don't know about you, but going camping all alone late at night in the woods isn't exactly the best of idea, unless, of course, you are a very experienced camper. There are many things that can happen, from getting lost in the woods to coming face to face with a bad-intentioned human being, the list goes on. The thing is, there are no I watch a lot of uh, Mr. Bellin videos about camping, and I don't know if I will ever. I probably will. Have you heard that saying, the thing that's seeking you? that The thing that you're seeking is seeking you, so if you say no, eventually you're going to be meeting with it, right? You're going to do it. I, I really believe that. Even, no, no matter how many times you say no to something, eventually it will happen, right? So I, I believe that one day I will. Right now I'm like, nah, I don't want to do it, but eventually I will. And I kind of want to experience that too. So, you know, like I have that. But how many of you have gone camping and uh, was there anything that was kind of bizarre, any creepy thing about it? Let, let me Share your experience for sure. number of people out there who would include another thing to this list, and that would be coming face to face with Sasquatch or Bigfoot type creatures. All they over the world, there are thousands of supposed encounters. Damn, they even have like labels or stop signs that has uh, Sasquatch written on it. Damn, so that means that there were surely a lot of people that witnessed stuff like that reported and the authorities were like, okay, we had it enough. We're going to put like a, st a stop sign like that or a sign, not a stop sign, but, but you know what I mean, right? Like a There's Sasquatch sign. With sign. this tall humanoid being that people call Sasquatch or Bigfoot. And to be honest, there is little to no proof of it. But the little proof that there is, is enough for us to scratch our heads and keep us awake at night. Bigfoot found, boys! Oh snap, it's a dark video again. Okay, Vina car. Uh oh! Oh my god, no, f*** that. Run, run, run. Press R2, bro. In this video, for instance, originally uploaded by the Music Memory Lane on YouTube, a channel that does not exist anymore, Lucas and Jerome spot what appears to be Bigfoot just behind one of the trees. Moments before they can actually get closer to it, You're calling this a Bigfoot? That looks like a small foot, bro. Something happens and they run. Hey! 
Kill. What you doing? Hey, hey, what you doing down there, mate? Oh, oh. Run, run, run. Very strange noise. Bro, your 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 voice Seems scared. Seems coming from some kind of an animal. Now, Chris Dickinson lives in Oklahoma and runs the YouTube channel known as Sooner Sasquatch, and he is in constant search for what he calls the Sasquatch people, and mostly all of his videos are him in the middle of the woods camping in search for evidence of the existence of these creatures. Oh my god! And I would say that in some videos. Chris was able to capture some compelling evidence. I wasn't going In any further. In this specific brief moment to check the surroundings. And this is what happens. What? Chris left his tent with a night vision camera and a not so good flashlight because he heard some sort of commotion happening just next to him. When he reached this specific place, he says that he feels this awful smell. Now at this specific moment, if I were Chris, I would have left this place and probably bone. Animal. What's that? Oh. Whoa. Two rounds fired. The hell was that? Oh. Oh what? I saw like. Did a little you see face. that? What Little appears face. to be a humanoid figure can be seen lurking and watching Chris silently just behind one of the trees. And if you watch closely, you can actually see a breath of warm air escaping the creature's face. The video is so shaky. Like, I see there was someone, but I don't know, like... ...in the cold night. Whatever's going on here, Chris realizes that he's not alone and that he's being watched. And he gets out of there as fast as possible. Oh, it's... It's really hard to make up, but 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 yeah, I saw something like looking and just ducking down, but it's hard to see what it was. After watching this video countless times, I still can't make out exactly what is it that I'm looking at. Yeah. All I know is that for a brief moment, it looks as if it's a head with the two dark eyes. Whatever's going on here, it could be Sasquatch or maybe something. It's very hard. It could be just a monkey. Like, a monkey! It could be a monkey, but monkeys... Do, okay, anybody has knowledge on monkeys? Like, I'm not sure. Like, are they awake this way? Probably not, right? Else, whatever this thing is, it gives me the chills and I don't even know why. Damn. One of Chris's subscribers by the name of Earth Traveler left a comment saying that at 2 minutes and 7 seconds, Something is peering out through the branches, then moves the branches aside and moves back, and then appears out again, and that he sees something human-shaped. Alabama Sisters Paranormal says that she sees a huge canine head, but there seems to be a smaller one or maybe it is just higher up in the tree. What do you think is going on here? Is it possible that Sooner Sasquatch actually caught evidence of the existence of something like a Sasquatch or a Bigfoot? Or is it maybe something completely different here? What's your take? Uh, it's very hard to make, honestly. Very hard to know what it is. Could be anything, could be an animal. Now, one thing is to camp on top of a mountain or in the middle of the woods just next to your car where you can reach it at any time if you'd like to and just leave. The thing is, if you're camping at a small island on a lake, things will be a little bit different if you need to leave for whatever reason. This is the case with Ruben Mockery, who was camping on a lake and it was really late at night and Ruben and a couple of friends of his were having a really good time and enjoying their moment. All right, boys, this is Out camping boys. 2010 with uh, Trevor and Jeremy hey, hey. and Tom that I can't hardly see because it's I cannot even see Tom in this one. Bro. Pretty dark. I can't find the light on this thing, dude. Hello. It's just kind of. I see Trevor waving. Okay. <laughs> okay, Trevor. We can see Trevor. Let me get up. Get the fire. Here. Oh, well. Oh. That, that's there. He is. Tom. We're gonna do some rope swing, mad. This is until Ruben noticed something really strange in the woods just next to them, and this is what they caught on camera. Jeremy! <laughs> Jeremy! Jeremy! <laughs> Jeremy booted! 
Mate. UFO? Is that a full moon? God, what is that? The hiss? That's what Seriously, guys, there's hey, something. I, really, I seriously saw something over there. Dude, Tom, did you not see it? Dude, there whatever. There for like two Jeremy, minutes. Trevor, dude, it was over there. Dude, whatever, man. Man, <laughs> they're just more willing to Yeah, they're probably wasted. They're like, oh, we don't care, man. We don't care. I, I am not gonna sit here Weird. with this like, thing. Dude, I'm telling you, it was like it was there what? for like, like two seconds. Dude, it is. Ruben spots what appears to be two red eyes staring back at them in the middle of the woods and he immediately feels as if there's something wrong. He tells his- Oh, red eyes? So he was assuming that someone was like watching them. I was uh, in my head, or I even said it out loudly, I thought it was UFO or- uh, Trends, right? which do not believe him at first. It's when they get up to check it out that things take a turn, and this is what happens next. Yes, there hey, was, Jeremy, you know, Tom and I both saw it, dude. It, it was it probably a squirrel. squirrel. It was nuts. It was nuts. I don't know, man. It's not a squirrel. What'd you say it was a squirrel? Okay. Yo, okay. My guy, wait, is my guy got clothes on? Because it looks like that he's naked. Preaching. Okay, what squirrel would look naked. like that, Tom? It, it's an animal. Okay. We're in the yeah, woods. Go worry. figure. Uh, hey, Tom? Yeah. Guys? Oh my god. What is that? Oh my god. That's it. That's it. I t oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Uh, what is it? I don't know. Oh, crap. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Oh, shit. It was approaching them. Bro, like the way it ran like that freaked me out, bro. <laughs> What appears to be a tall humanoid figure with red eyes runs directly at Ruben and his group of friends that now completely baffled run towards the boat as fast as possible. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. It looked like a zombie, bro. Yo, okay, I gotta collect myself right now. Damn, son, that caught me off guard. Like, I was I was firing bullets. Like, I was like, bro, okay, like, whatever. Like, bam, one, two. And then we will pro I it threw me out. Get in, get in, get in, guys. Get in. Get in. Get in. Okay. Okay. Where's the where's the keys? I don't know. Where's where's Tom at? Where's Tom? Where's Tom? Tom! 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 Guys, I'm over here! Away! Are you alright? Thank God, are you okay? Dude, I think I lost it. I don't know. I think it's right behind me. I'm not sure. What is it, dude? What is it? I don't know. I couldn't tell what it was. Jump! Come on, get down here with us. You have to jump. Come on, get not jump. This is too high. Dude, if you don't jump, it's gonna get you. You have to jump. Oh snap! Oh my god! Come on, Tom. Oh, swim, man. Swim, Tom. Swim. Oh, oh my god! Did you see it? No. No, we've not seen it. Afraid that this thing, whatever it is, might be actually following them, oh my Tom God. and his friends all get together at their boat to get the heck out of there as fast as possible. This is Yo, this might actually be a genuine video though. Might be, can be, potentially, thoughts? When this tall humanoid being makes itself apparent once again, and they try to capture it on camera, and Holy this shit. is what happens next. Oh Wait, what is yo? It had a like a facial, like the silhouette of it was like a like a Bigfoot, right? But do Bigfoot has like have red eyes? I don't know, or was it just the camera capturing that? But he said he saw red lights eyes, uh, with his own eyes as well. So it must Dude. be. What is? Oh my gosh, dude, did you see that? Thank oh my God, gosh, you're true, man. Say, it's it's the same thing we've been seeing. Let's get out of here. It's fine oh, what that thing oh, was. Oh, dude, it's it's right there, look. Oh, right, man. Why does it keep We gotta go there. right, right, right there. now. Oh now. What? There it is. Did you see it? Do you see it? No, no, hold on. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's looking. That is, oh my gosh. I about to jump in the water. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. Oh What the heck? It's chasing the boat, Tom! Go! Oh my goodness. Go! 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 Whatever this eerie humanoid creature is, Ruben and his friends were able to capture some of it on camera. The thing is, if this video is real or not, it is very hard to say. Being that it was late at night, the camera quality isn't that good, and it was kind of shaky and blurred at certain moments. However, what I do know is that there are several videos and reports out there of people who have actually encountered 
a humanoid creature with glowing red eyes. Bruh. For instance, in West Virginia in 19... 19- I was gonna... Uh, before this, I was gonna say that what if there's just like a normal person trying to prank them, uh, just have like bicycle red lights uh, and he bought like two of them from eBay, whatever, threw it on top of his head, put it around his eye area and just, you know, just circle around and whoever sees this will be afraid. Uh, that's what I thought initially. Uh, it's still scary, but I was like, maybe, you know, it's probably dead. But if other people are saying this, damn, son. It could still be someone, like, living there and pranking people. Could still be that. In 66, there was a humanoid creature known as the Mothman. And he was reportedly seen by several people and was even talked about in several newspaper articles. When was that? 1966? No, I'm These, for example... Are some of the videos where a sim yo today by the time i'm recording this it is dead ass november 22nd this happened back in 1996 on this day holy shit, man what the are creature the is shown it's sitting there right oh snap i've mastered the ability of standing so incredibly still <laughs> that i've become invisible to the eye but my yeah. movement Yeah, dude, like, so red. So this is like a different video, right? Different people. Oh, snap. Right now, okay, that's oh, a yeah. lot more brighter. Oh, it's a crawler? Dude, is that a person? Oh, uh, we should crawl. Oh, what the actual? This one... Did you okay, the other camera quality was really, really bad. So you just saw like the dots. Uh, this camera quality is better. It's not the best for sure. It's not gonna, it's never gonna be as close as to what a human eye can see. But looking at this, this is genuinely scary though. Like you see, it's like glowing, like it's dead ass glowing. It's almost as though it's a light. Either someone is really pranking and scaring people in the woods or this is real. I don't know, man. But how can it be? I don't know. Is it real? Um, see, I'm having a hard time saying it's real because like it's just looking bizarre. In your opinion, what do you think truly happened that night with Ruben Mockery and his friends while camping? Was it maybe an elaborate hoax or is it the real deal? And what do you think about the supposed sightings of the Mothman and all of these reports from people all over the world who supposedly seen it this mysterious and strange red-eyed humanoid creature? It has long arms too, it's like very thin looking arms. Aren't those like bobs like hanging out like I don't know, man. There is a very big difference between camping all on your own and camping with a group of people. Mm -hmm. When you're all on your own, things tend to be a little Dang. bit more tense and you have to pay attention to every single step that you take. Yeah. When you're with a group yeah. of people, usually time goes by faster, it's a little bit more enjoyable and you'll easily forget that you're in the middle of the woods and that anything at all can happen at any moment. Yeah. And I guess this is exactly the case with a YouTube channel by the name of TKing741 who was camping in the middle of the woods with a group of people enjoying their time. When all of a sudden this happens. Look at the lovely fire we have here with no fish on top of it. Thanks to the genius fisherman here. It's daytime, so what could have happened? Like, uh, is something gonna jump out? Maybe That's potentially. Like the you, last the genius we have Mr. Camera Boy. We are gonna be in trouble. Okay. As you can see, the group is enjoying their time. They had just set up a fire. Is that the fat Elon Musk, bruh? Bruh. Is that the fat Elon? No, no disrespect. Is that a stud donut version of Elon Musk? To eat something, when something completely unexpected was caught on camera. Oh, damn. Check this out. You could catch that if, if I Dude, let I my knife right here. Oh, I'm pocket knife. Oh, what the hell? Oh. Mike, you, you guys are letting me there to die. What, what was, was that? that? Oh. That looked like. What appears to be some sort of creature is caught creeping up on them, and one of the group members noticed it first. They are able to capture a glimpse. Dobby? Is that Dobby from Harry Potter? Of this creature. And to this day, no one knows exactly what this is. That's now, Dobby. Now, the video was recorded, if I'm not mistaken, 12 years ago. And 
That's Dobby, bro. The camera quality isn't that good, so it makes it really hard for us to identify what this is. Now, some internet users stated that this could actually be a koala. However, koalas do not have tails, and in this video, you can actually see this creature has a tail of some sort. This was noticed by other internet users who state also that this is some other type of creature. But because the video quality isn't exactly very good, it's very difficult to affirm what exactly this thing is. What if it was holding like a, a tree branch and people mistook that for a tail? Because the video quality is really bad, so I, 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 I hardly see a tail there, but I'm just saying people are seeing that. Could it be that it was a, t a tree branch? Can koalas? Um, I first time hearing about that creature. First time I'm hearing about the animal. Can they even hold a tree branch? First of all, you know what I mean. I don't even know. Bruh. Not only that, I don't think a koala would have scared the group of people as good as it did. In the video, you can see they're all very scared and they don't know exactly what this thing is, even though they did catch a glimpse of it. Now I'm not really sure where this video was recorded, all I know is that back in the 1990s, very close to when this video was recorded, there was a legend of the supposed chupacabra that began yeah. when goats and chickens turned up dead in Puerto Rico. The folk tales. The only reason I know about chupacabras is because there was a Scooby-Doo cartoon movie made on off of that, so that's the only reason I know about it. Spread through Mexico and the US. There isn't exactly a consensus to how the chupacabra looks like. Some say it is a coyote with horrible skin, and others describe it as a grey lizard-like creature with large eyes. All I know is that in this video there were many internet users stating that this looks like a gremlin and it sounds like a lizard. These descriptions are kind of like, or the, the pictures kind of look awfully similar to what I've heard like uh, high military personnel describe like aliens, they say like it looked kind of like that to me so what if it's like actual like alien entities and it's not like a chupacabra Bruh. but we gave it a name as chupacabra or something right now i'm not too sure if i agree with that but even so if this isn't a koala what could it be what's your take there was a canadian prime ex prime no not the prime minister if you google like canadian uh uh alien something i i'm forgetting his name it's Canadian, it's a higher up in Canadian for like security or something that actually dead ass said that yup, aliens are real. And he sounded, uh, and he has that authority as well, right? It's not like a nobody. When venturing yourself into the woods, one would definitely expect to have a relaxing and a joyful time. Just so you have an idea, researchers say that the smell of nature alone can help boost psychological well-being. For me, and I guess for many people out there, that's enough of an excuse to get out of the big city during the weekends and just relax a little bit. But a few days ago, I was camping in Sun River and what I thought would be a good location to pull over to the side of the road in like this forest area and sleep, which I thought no one was really around, uh, turned into... But sometimes venturing into the woods doesn't go as expected and things turn out to be the opposite of relaxing. And I guess this is exactly what happened with Noah who was all alone deep in the woods in Sun River, Oregon. He was inside his truck late at night and was just about to go to sleep when all of a sudden this happens. Sleeping in the back of my truck right now. Yeah. I don't know what time it is. And there's so my truck right now if you can hear that oh damn it's i heard that loud. yeah i, I hear it i'm a little freaked out right now and it's like pitch black outside probably like two in the morning and he just keeps walking around after a few minutes noticing that there was... Yo, I watch a lot of Mr. Bellin videos and it gave me PTSD. It brought me to that moment when I was listening to one of the story he was telling in a video. It was awfully similar. It's night, it's pitch dark outside. Someone is inside trying to sleep, but they hear somebody walking around in circles. And later on when they wake up in the day, there surely were footprints around. And it's just best to not go outside and yeah. That's Someone walking around his truck at 2 a.m. in the morning. Noah states that where he parked, there was absolutely no one around. 
which in my opinion sometimes isn't the smartest decision if you're not prepared or all alone. And after a few moments of silence, Noah thinks he's in the clear. However, things take a turn and this is what happens next. Oh snap! How am I supposed to get him away? Hey. He's all dead. He's literally <laughs> knocking. Could it be like just another human looking for help? But if you are looking for help, uh, just, just not scream, but just yell it out, right? I know it's the same Bruh. thing, but but just say like, hey, anybody home? Anybody here? I need help. Say that so someone knows. Okay, you're a human. But even then, it's like gonna be really scary. It's gonna be creepy at night because you cannot even see, right? But it's clearly not a human. Maybe it is, but it's clearly the intentions don't seem right. I don't, I don't get it. See if he goes away eventually. We'll see. Walking around. He's literally peeking through the door right now. I've never been this scared ever. Oh, it's 2 30 in the morning. 2 30. That red light kind of F me up. Still walking around my truck. Yeah, parade the night and. Very exactly, he's the, un, like in a tent. After several tense moments of someone trying to get in Noah's truck, he's able to make okay. it through the night. And the next, okay, he was sleeping in his uh, in his truck. Okay, now that makes sense. He shows his viewers how his truck ended up. So I'm back home. This is the day after. Um, he was trying to peek in my truck uh, quite a bit with all these marks. I didn't even notice until I got home. Um, handprints there. A lot of scratches. As you can see, there are hand marks all over Noah's truck. And the thing is, some of the scratches he noticed on his car were not there before. So everything indicates that there's Damn. a very good chance that this person was trying to break in his car. Or maybe find a way in. And I guess it was when he turned on the flashlight that whomever this person was, fleed. In your opinion, should have Noah done something differently that night? And have you ever gone through a similar situation? Yo, what's the best thing you can do in this situation? You should not get out. Uh, and can he, can he actually drive? It's dark outside. It's Yeah, and he's probably like in the back sleeping. Trying to sleep at least. He was not sleeping. He was sleeping but probably got woke, woke up. Yeah, man. I don't know. Share your interesting thoughts and click on this video on the screen. If you enjoyed this, you're gonna love this, and it's a continuation, man. Definitely check it out, and I'll see you right there. Subscribe.